Uh, in this example, I want to find the rate law. All these reaction mechanisms, you're finding the rate law. There's, it depends how uh, it's going, how you would do this. If the first step is slow, then the, the rate law would just be A times B times this K. But in this case, uh, if the second step is slow, we have a problem because there's no reversible step here. So, but in our case, nothing is labeled. When nothing's labeled, that's a hint that you should use the pseudo steady state hypothesis. That's where you say that the rate of appearance of an intermediate equals the rate of its disappearance. So there's two things we need to do here. First, before we get to that, let's write the overall reaction. You'll see it's A plus B goes to D. So uh, we because D is the main product, I'm going to write the rate law for the second reaction, because that's where the product is formed. So the rate of production of D is really the second reaction, which is K2 times the concentration of C. However, C is the intermediate, so I can't have the intermediate in my rate law answer. I must continue. Let's find an expression for C. I'm going to do that by the pseudo state state hypothesis on C. Okay? Well, if I do that on C, rate of appearance or production equals rate of disappearance or reaction. It appears in reaction one and it disappears in reaction two. There's actually two ways you can solve this at this point. So let's do the hard way first and then the easy way. The hard way to solve this at this point would say, okay, K1 a, B equals K2 times C. Uh, C is equal to K1 over K2, A times B. And then you plug this back into this equation here, because now I have expression for C. And the rate 2, the rate of production of D is K2. Oh, that'll cancel. So it'll just be K1, A, times B would be your answer. There's an easier way you could have done it. You could have said rate 2 equals rate 1. Oh, then if I'm looking for rate 2, it's equal to rate 1. So rate 1 should be my answer. So rate 1, which equals rate 2, which equals the rate of production of D, just K1 uh, times A uh, times, oh, I run out of room B. However, a way you went about getting to the answer is totally fine. Yes? How do you know which one's slow and which one's fast? How do you know which one's slow and which one's fast? You have no idea. Because it wasn't labeled. So if it's labeled. And it's irrelevant. So if it's labeled, how does that change? If it's labeled, you're going to solve for the rate that is slow. 